Hello, everybody. It's uh, about almost one o'clock in the morning right now, and I gotta tell you, we had week number what? Week two in college football. We had a lot more games this time around, and I gotta tell you, the Sun Belt, you guys did a great job today. What a fantastic job. Uh, first off, let's talk about Arkansas State, Kansas State, Jonathan Adams, and, um, you know, and the Arkansas State Red Wolves with their two-quarterback system. Um, they got it done against Kansas State. They got it done against Climate and Company and Skylar Thompson, you know. It, I mean, it was a back-and-forth game pretty much the entire time. Arkansas State made a couple of mistakes, you know, in the game. But at the end of the day, they got it done. They got the W. Um, the, game, the, other, the other two games um, that I'll talk about real quick uh, because there's some other stuff going on, of course. But the Sun, you know, again, has just won the day pretty much. What a big day for them, for that conference. And, you know, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns just went off on Iowa, on Iowa State, you know. S couple of kick returns, for touchdowns, you know, just dominating um, the Iowa State defense, you know, just not letting up. Run game was powerful. Um, defense, very strong. Brock Purdy struggled a little bit in that game. And Iowa State took an L and then you know just so recently completed is the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and of course I mean this this isn't a surprise at all you know Kansas is bad they were down 28 to nothing at one point 28 to nothing sure that sure you know there was, there was an onside kick that kind of was, you know, not really, you know, like an offsides penalty. But, I mean, come on. It's Kansas. You expected this from me. Um, as far as the heavy hitters go, you know, my Texas Longhorns and, of course, the Oklahoma Sooners pretty much played glorified cupcakes when we feasted. Um, Ellinger went off. Over 400 yards, five touchdowns in the first half. Crazy, right? Spencer Rattler, 290 yards, four touchdowns. On pay-per-view, of course. <laughs> On pay-per-view, of course. Hopefully you got your Twitch streams ready. Um, and then, of course, Notre Dame debuted in the ACC today. Ian Book did not look the greatest. I don't know what in the world's going on out there with Brian Kelly and the Fighting Irish, but they need to get it together fast. They want to win the ACC for the one time that they're going to be here in this weird 2020 season. And they did not look great against Duke. You know, they had their moments. Um, you know, Duke did. But, I mean, the, I mean, the Irish just had enough. They just had enough swagger. They had enough defense. They had enough on the offense to put it away. They had just enough to keep it to where it, it wasn't even going to be worried. And I don't, I don't know. I think it's going to be a long season for both those teams, to be completely honest with you. Um, North Carolina, let's talk about them real quick. Sam Howell, Mac Brown, oh boy, they flexed their muscles. Now, it, this was in the fourth quarter, by the way. They flexed their muscles in the fourth quarter. It was a struggle at first, you know. Um, Tommy DeVito for Syracuse, he did not play well. That whole Syracuse offense just looked atrocious. He only, he only put up six points. North Carolina ran away with it with 21 unanswered in the fourth quarter. There you have it, you know. North Carolina, they are a sneaky, sneaky team. If it weren't for Notre Dame and Clemson just being so dominant. Speaking of Clemson, you you already know. You already expected this. You you should have expected this by now. 
I don't even know why that game was chosen for Saturday night. So, that you, you, all you had to do was turn that game off after the first quarter, and it was already over. Wake Forest didn't stand a chance against Trevor Lawrence, and Travis Etienne, and Dabo Sweeney. They didn't stand a chance in that game. So what else happened? Oh, how about Georgia Tech, Florida State? You know, we had, you know, Blackman and, you know, Mike Moore Bell debuted and everything like that. And, I mean, it was just crazy, crazy, crazy to think, you know, like, Florida State had a 13 to nothing lead or something like that. They had a thir- they had a 13 to nothing lead. Uh, I thought, you know, I thought maybe this game was over. I I just I just thought it would be over. But, you know, um Georgia Tech just somehow came right back in it and just did Something crazy. There was a whole lot of missed kicks, a lot of botches, just a lot of silly stuff going on. And I can't be remiss to talk about, you know, the whole Citadel muff punt thing. You know, it was a crazy, crazy time, let me tell you. But, um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, because, I mean, Obviously, you know, Florida State is not back. They got some issues to work out. And, you know, Jeff Sims, um, the new quarterback, I think that's his name. I forgot, I forgot already. Um, for Georgia Tech, he did not look great when I saw him in that first half. I don't know what in the world happened in between the first half and the end of the game when I caught the rest of it. But, um, Georgia Tech, they just did what they needed to do. You know, they they came back, they stormed back, they got, you know, enough points to beat Florida State, and they did it, 16-13. I mean, come on. What else is there to say? So so there's some other news as well. Um, Of course, Virginia, Virginia Tech got postponed. Now Virginia Tech... Um, they just have not been able to get their COVID testing under control. They need to get it under control. They need to get the testing. You know, they need to get good testing and stuff like that to be able to play because I, mean, I don't think they're supposed to play until like September the 26th now. And Virginia is just like sitting there and just like, well, what do we do now? What do we, what do we got to do? You know, um, I don't know. And, um, there's also the whole Baylor Houston situation. Baylor and Houston, you know, Memphis, you know, they had game, they had their, you know, against Houston postponed. Baylor had their game against Louisiana Tech postponed. Both of those due to coronavirus and stuff like that. I don't know about SMU. I thought SMU was going to reschedule the game. I don't think they are right now. Oh well. Um, But yeah, so that'll be the game for Fox, hopefully, next Saturday in Waco. Because Baylor was supposed to host the game today. They were supposed to host Louisiana Tech today for Fox, but they haven't. They didn't. They didn't get to do that. So try again next week. And as far, you know, I think we're still in for a long ride. I mean, this season is crazy, and we still have a long way to go. But I think what we learned right now is that Clemson is still number one. Let's just be real. You know, if they could flex their muscles against the ACC competition, sure, you know, Wake Forest is the best, but as long as they can flex their muscles, they'll be fine. Oklahoma, Texas, I think they'll be meeting up, you know, two times this year. I don't know about the rest of the conference right now. I, I don't think the rest of the conference was ready anyway. And as far, you know, as Sunbelt goes, they're doing great. Doing great. All the other little conferences are doing great that are playing. So that's it. See ya.